Our federal government has enacted an emer emergency measures while the Freedom Convoy is conducting a lawful demonstration. We recognize that there is a democratic process within which change occurs, and we have no intention of acting outside the realm of this democratic process. As we have all observed over the past weeks, Canadians are increasingly raising their voice in concern about the loss of fundamental rights and freedoms. During our convoy across Canada, and while we have been here in Ottawa, we have heard from Canadians about what they would like to see and happen next. We have put in writing what we, what we have heard. Tonight, we have sent our roadmap to freedom to all federal and provincial leaders. I will read that to you now, with pleasure. We begun our Freedom Convoy with a clear destination, restoring freedom to for our families, our neighbors, and our country. We rolled into Ottawa 19 days ago, taking a stand for our future. We have given hope and power to freedom-loving Canadians and beyond. People from around the world are now standing with us and they want their freedoms back. Our message to all government has been clear from the start. We want our freedoms restored. To say the least, our government reactions to COVID and the restrictions imposed on our lives, kids and businesses over the last two years have been very difficult for everyone. Families have been separated, kids have lost education and social development, people have been censored, bullied and shamed, people have lost their jobs and their livelihoods. We have lost our fundamental rights and freedoms, worst of all, so many Canadians have lost hope. We are calling on all governments in Canada to restore the rights and freedoms of Canadians and set concrete limits so governments can't easily abuse our rights and limit our freedoms again. It is now time for serious and immediate action by our governments. We call upon our governments to restore the rights and freedoms to all Canadians. How? One. End all vaccine mandates for all Canadians, truckers, travelers, employees, healthcare workers, law enforcement agents, and soldiers. Number two, cancel provincial and municipal vaccine passports and masking requirements. Number three, end all state of emergency declarations. Number four, allow those who have lost their jobs to go back to work. Number five, grant access to parents that lost access to their kids. Be reunited. Six, financial protection for all small businesses harmed by COVID restrictions. And seven, respect freedom of choice and not discriminate. We call upon our governments to ensure we don't make this mistake again by doing the following. Number one, Supreme Court of Canada review of government actions. We need to know whether our rights under the, under the charter mean anything. We call upon the federal government to initiate a constitutional reference question to the Supreme Court of Canada about the constitutional validity of the COVID laws and restrictions. Two, public inquiry of government's response to COVID. As a matter of national importance, we call upon the federal government to appoint a fully independent and impartial public inquiry on the government's handling of COVID responses. We need to know what went wrong, what caused governments to so easily trample our rights and freedoms and cause so much harm to our people and our nation. For the inquiry to be effective, the following conditions must be considered. A. The inquiry members to be selected by an all-party parliamentary process. B. It must contain a thorough examination of the science, policy responses, and the consequences. C. It must be commenced by March 20th, 2022. And D. It must be public and live streamed. It is time to heal the divisions that have been created in our families, in our communities, and in our country. This has gone on far too long. We are calling upon all levels of government to do the right thing